बुलाने वाला है तो गया हुआ वक्त लौटाते टाइम विल नॉट कम अगेन अंटर यस कदा पेदवा टाइम विल नॉट कम अगेन अंटर अंदर अंटर का बुलाने वाला है तो गया हुआ वक्त लौटाते इन फोर्टी सेवन श्लोक भगवदगीता सेकेंड चाप्टर यू हैव ए रईट टू पर्फॉम युवर प्रिस्क्रैब ड्यूटी बट यू आर् नाट एंटाइटल टू द फ्रूट्स ऑफ एक्शन नेवर कंसिडर युअर सेल्फ टू बी द काज ऑफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ युअर ऐक्टिविटीज एंड नेवर बी अटैच टू नाट डूइंग युअर ड्यूटी एंत चलीगारो कदा कर्र विरगद्दु पाम चावद्दु दीज आर् थ्री कंसिडरेशन हियर प्रिस्क्रैब ड्यूटी कैप्रीशियस वर्क एंड इन ऐक्शन प्रिस्क्रैब ड्यूटी रिफर् टू ऐक्टिविटी पर्फॉम वैल वन इज इन दोर्ड्स आफ मेटीरियल नेचर कैप्रीशियस वर्क मीन ऐक्शन विथट दैंक्शन आफ अथारीटी एंड इन ऐक्शन मीन नाट पर्फॉमिंग वन प्रिस्क्रैब ड्यूटी The Lord advised that Arjuna not be inactive, but that he perform his prescribed duty without being attached to the result. One who is attached to the result of his work is also the cause of the action. Thus, he is the enjoyer or sufferer of the result of such actions. As far as prescribed duties are concerned, they can be fitted into three subdivisions, namely routine work, emergency work, and desired activity. like casual ward general ward emergency ward intensive care i see you i see you i can see you <laughs> through my glasses <laughs> without current without knowledge routine work in terms of the spiritual injunctions is done like i mean our shri krishna he is also allah and yahova is very jovial and casual in nature without desire for results as one has to do it obligatory work is action in the mode of goodness work with results becomes the cause of bondage therefore such work is not auspicious everyone has his proprietary right in regard to prescribed duties but should act without attachment to the result such disinterested obligatory duties doubtlessly lead one to the path of liberation arjuna was therefore advised by the lord to fight as a matter of duty without attachment to the result yuddham korake yuddham cheyumo palitamulane aasinchakumo but we will win the war yes. and we will get the kingdom such attachment never leads one to the path of salvation any attachment positive or negative is cause for bondage in action is sinful therefore fighting is a matter of duty and it is also only auspicious path of salvation for arjuna be steadfast in yoga o arjuna perform your duty and abandon all attachment to success or failure such evenness of mind is called yoga krishna tells arjuna that he should act in yoga and what is that yoga yoga means to concentrate the mind upon the supreme by controlling the ever disturbing senses and who is the supreme the supreme is the lord and because he himself is telling arjuna to fight arjuna has nothing to do with the results of the fight or uh, war or battle gain or victory or krishna's concern krishna and arjuna being cousins they have a beautiful rapport understanding Arjuna is simply advised to act according to the dictation of Krishna. The following of Krishna's dictation is real yoga and this is practiced in the process called Krishna consciousness. By Krishna consciousness only one can give up the sense of proprietorship. One has to become the servant of Krishna or the servant of the servant of Krishna. That is the right way to discharge duty in Krishna consciousness which alone can help one to act in yoga. Arjuna is a kshatriya. and as such he is participating in the varnashrama dharma institution it is said that vishnu purana that in the varnashrama dharma the whole aim is to satisfy vishnu no one should satisfy himself as is the rule in the material world but one should satisfy krishna 
so unless one satisfies krishna one cannot correctly observe the principles of varnashrama dharma indirectly arjuna was advised to act as krishna told him according to chinna maska also it is the uh, rule and regulation and uh, you don't know about few people like prostitute sita manohari and ollamukune uh, bhargavi bujjamma ratna kumari bindu who are prostitutes they also say uh, we should satisfy them why we should satisfy them they may be prostitutes but we are not here to satisfy anybody <laughs>